hello guys how are you doing i hope you are doing fine you are welcome back to across nigeria today is um the sixth day of november 2019 my time here is 7 15 in the morning so let me greet you guys good morning good afternoon and good evening so i have um, a breaking news to share with you guys today so just a day after signing uh, the deep offshore and inland basin production sharing contract amendment bill into law in london so president buhari has approved uh, the sack of um, at least 35 out of over 88 in the office of the vice president yemi osibanjo all right so the president is currently in london united kingdom for a two-week uh, private visit and is expected to um, to be back in Abuja on November 17. So, Delhi, Nigeria um, gathered that the affected eight who were issued um, appointment letters in um, August included some senior special assistants, uh, special assistants, personal assistants, and technical assistants. Credible source um, who preferred anonymity said that the eight may be formally issued. Uh, their sack letters today wednesday the 6th of uh, november so preparatory to their eventual dismissal it was learned that the eight were posted out of um they were posted out to some line ministries relevant to their designation last month so the move was um, allegedly to deny them access to the villa and reduce uh, the influence of the vice president Although more than half of the eight are under the payroll of uh, donor agencies, uh, the cabal is them out in order to whittle down uh, the influence of the vice president, Emil Sibanjo. Okay, so that was what the source, the source said, okay, um, that was familiar with the development. None of them were queried, okay, for any wrongdoing. Um, it is not about cutting costs because no aid was sacked in the president's office uh no office of the first lady where six more eight appointed less than one month ago so they were just sacked to reduce uh, the vice president's influence so both spokesmen for the president and the vice president gaba shehu and um, akande respectively did not respond to a text message seeking their reaction to the development so guys that is the update so far i have for you uh, but if you want to look at this issue um frankly frantically okay there seems to be a frosty relationship between the president and his deputy since the beginning of their second term in office okay uh with the president transferring some agencies under the mr sibanjo's control to either his office or some ministries so inside i said that <clears throat> the president's uh, powerful handler uh, otherwise known as cabal were unhappy with some critical decisions uh, taken by the vice president in the president's absence so fillers believe um, that top among mr Osibanjo's crimes was the sack of uh, lawa daura Okay, as well Director General of the State Security Service, when Mr. Osibanjo was acting president in August last year. Another decision that drew um, the cabal, okay, was um, transmitting a letter to the Senate in February 2017, seeking confirmation of um, the then acting Chief Justice of Nigeria, that is um, Walter Onogen. But the president first wielded the big stick by taking away the special intervention program um, from the vice president's office to a newly created ministry of humanitarian affairs disaster and management and social development so um the that include the famous um trader money the homegrown school feeding program um government economic empowerment program that is the end power among others on september 16 mr buari replaced the sibanjo led economic management team with the um, economic advisory council uh, that will directly report to his uh, office that is the president's office 
So according to a report by Premium Times on Tuesday, um, even the controversial Ruga project has also been taken uh, from Mr. Osibanjo's control after the recommendation of the president's powerful chief of staff, Abakiari. Okay, so um, that is the update I have for you. I really don't know what is going on um, in Nigeria, but whatever the case may be, um, let's keep our fingers crossed and see the outcome. I just want to give you the update, the latest news, what is happening in Nigeria. So part of your effort to support us to keep doing what we are doing is for you to subscribe click on the bell icon and also you get instant notification whenever we have breaking news like this to share with you guys i will see you guys in another video